And welcome back to The Watchman, only right here on TBN. Well, at Christians United for Israel, we know that God is not finished with Israel and the Jewish people by a long shot. But there is a dangerous movement among some in the church today called replacement theology that says God has cast Israel aside. Thankfully, we have the one and only Pastor John Hagee, founder of Christians United for Israel, to set the record straight on what God really says and why you should stand with Israel. Take a look. People that make that statement are simply biblically illiterate. They do, have, do not have a knowledge of the Word of God. One, Romans, the 11th chapter and the first verse. Paul asked this question, hath God cast away the Jewish people? Certainly not. And then he uses this logic. I am Jewish. I'm of the tribe of Benjamin and God is using me. If God is using me and I'm Jewish, then obviously God's not through with the Jewish people. For those who are slow to learn, he repeats the same question in Romans 11, 11. Has God cast away the Jewish people? Certainly not. Now, it's certainly not in English, but in the Greek, it is a scorching, screaming, how could you even think that kind of thing? And then you continue with that thought that uh, everything in the Bible, when, when God ever displaces, puts it aside, it never comes back. When God wipes it out, it's gone. Sodom and Gomorrah is a case in point. God wiped that society off the face of the earth. Geologists have not found it to this day. They think they know where it might be, but they haven't found it to this day. Israel did have the diaspora beginning in 70 AD, but Israel was miraculously reborn May 1948. According to every major prophet in the Old Testament, one of the most powerful prophetic days in the history of the world when Israel came back to the land of Israel. The exiles came home and the state of Israel was reborn. Fourthly, Whenever Jesus Christ, a Jewish rabbi, comes back to the earth, he introduces himself in the book of Revelation as the lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah is the root word for Jew. When Jesus comes back, he is identifying himself as Jewish. The, is the state of Israel in the book of Revelation is very much alive and very healthy. God has not and will not cast aside Israel or the Jewish people, not ever. Take for instance, the day that the prime minister of Israel, Ben-Gurion, announced in Tel Aviv in front of 400 people that Israel was now a state. Instantly, they were attacked the next day by five Arab armies led by former Nazis, led by former British officers of the British Army, equipped by foreign nations, including Russia, that wanted to see the Zionist dream killed in the birth canal. They did not want the Jewish people to have that piece of ground. And understand that the United Nations in the month of November of 47 put together a piece of property that was huge. And the Jewish people, when the Arabs complained, gave away two thirds of it that is today Jordan. And they kept the smaller slice. Think about how much they gave away. And right now, the world is screaming for the Jewish people to give that up. There is a God in heaven. And that God in heaven created Israel. And that God in heaven said, I am the defender of Israel. And he said, whoever touches you touches the apple of my eye. The word apple is pupil. In other words, when you start tormenting the Jewish people, you are sticking your finger in the eye of God. They have no right. Israel does not occupy the land. They own that land. God gave it to them in the book of Genesis in a blood covenant 
to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their descendants forever. Jerusalem is the city that belongs to the Jewish people. They don't own an explanation to anyone, not ever.